Guys, before we get into today's tutorial, remember to always like and subscribe in the video. It helps the channel out. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. And remember, once I get to a thousand, I can upload my mini games. So remember to help me out there. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial. So as you can see, I am in a bus, and uh, there's nothing in the bus, and it also won't move when I drive it. So today, we're going to learn how to make it look like you are actually driving a bus, or a train, or whatever. So, I've got the bus from the vehicle, vehicle gallery, yeah, the, um, it wasn't the Neil Tilt one. It was that one there, the variant car gallery. Is that variant? Yeah, variant. So that's where I got that car from. I was looking around here for stuff. You could probably use some of this in um, the creating of it. And you can just mess around with these ones. Wouldn't be able to do much with some of them though. But anyway, next you're going to want to search up uh, in the. Uh, Structures Gallery Black, and you're going to want to, to get the floor. Is that the floor? Because there's like two different ones. Yes, that is the floor. Okay, so once you get the floor, you're going to want to just place it down like so. Okay, there we go. And bam. And we'll actually just do a wee bit more in the back. Just like so. And then we're going to want to get the walls, and we're going to want to turn build the prop on. Which I maybe will do what I want. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. And we're going to turn it so it's this way. And then it goes halfway through the blocks, which is what we want. So if we do that, and then we'll do this on both sides. And there we go. Okay, so we'll leave the top open for now so we can see. This is what it looks like when you're in the bus now. It's just going to, it's going to be all black. You can see that because, well, there's not a roof. Anyway, next what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search up Pandora. I just search up Pand. And then go to the Pandora Prop Gallery Large. And this one to the very right, you want to choose it. Because that's the one that spins round and round and round. <laughs> No, it only takes up 420 memory. But anyway, you're going to want to place that there. And you're going to want to place it right over here by just turn that to 2. Okay, so that's the first bit done already. So it looks like there's stuff zooming past. Ooh. The next thing you want to get is you're going to want to go to devices and get the air vent gallery. Now, there's two you can use in this. I wouldn't use this one so much. I would use these two. And it would mostly be this one. Sometimes you can't see like the air vent lines. You know what I'm talking about. So if I move this to here, see there's like bits of stuff, but eh, I'm not going to use it though. You can use that if you want, but it's not always the best thing to use. Anyway, you can place these here, just down like that. That then gives it a wee bit of a misty effect. Now you're going to actually want to put them on the other side. Uh, can I can I pick this one up, please? No. Okay, I hate that glitch, man. It, like pokes out the bottom of the world. Okay, now let's place it there, and we'll place it there. Okay. So now when we're in it, you can well see lines going that way. It's pretty nice. Now I was actually messing around with this one over here in the particles over here this one and I didn't actually realize that it was a lava kind of effect but there is stuff like flying around so if we can find the bubble thing please because I, I don't want this in my world the entire time there you go. so um, we're going to turn that around a wee bit so it's in the middle roughly and we'll place it in here as well, like so. So now you'll just get like wee random splash effects, see like that there. Kind of looks like you're scraping across the ceiling, which is kind of cool. 
but you might sometimes get like these bubble things inside of this which isn't so much cool but um next you can get this also from here I don't think yeah, it's not in there it's over at this book gallery there is there and you can turn it around like that and actually you're going to want to turn it, is that it? Oh, it always goes that way, okay. Um, change the opaqueness to 10%. You can change that if you want. I'm going to put it to 10 though. And I'm also going to put it to that. Now you can put it to a quarter or whatever, it just makes it look a lot smoother, a lot nicer. Depending on what you're using it on. Ripple, also ain't too bad, but we're going to be using linear. Today, motion speed, you're going to want to put it on very, very fast. Or just very fast, it's pretty can't go higher than that, can you? And yeah, that's it. Now, you can mess around with the colors. I'm going to put it on light blue because that's what I want to use. And we're going to enlarge this quite largely. And we'll put that right there. Okay. And then we're going to want to there. So see they're not touching it, which is good, and it just creates a wee misty effect. Now you won't see this much, I wouldn't anyway use this too much, because usually when people use this, it's in trains, so I would be careful if you use it in buses, because buses have a lot more windows, and it's not supposed to be used with a, something with a lot of windows, that's for sure. But let's block all this up. Now you can make it first person as well if you want to, but I'm going to just keep it here. Um, yeah, there we go. Now usually as well you would block the front. What you could do is you could go into the lights and grab these. And if we get out of here again and turn them this way. And then if we just turn this off, we can just place them in front of us pretty simply. You know, like that. And what that would just look like is kind of just like, you know, stars and stuff in the distance. It can look good depending on what way you use it, but to me personally, it looks absolutely awful. But it's your own decision. But yeah, guys, that is how you make yourself a moving train. And there's fire outside. We must be in a zombie apocalypse or something. But anyway, if you'd like. Oh, yeah, make sure you move that. Well, wow. anyway guys, make sure you um, move those far enough back so you don't actually get hit by them, because um, that's going to happen to your thing, and um, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of bad if that happens in your map. But anyway, I will see you tomorrow in the next one. Goodbye.